people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome back to yet another FNAF news video. This time we got news on a whole bunch of merchandise. We got so much news in fact that I'm actually splitting this up into two different videos. This video we're going to be focusing on a whole bunch of companies hex, Fat Mojo, Creator Inc, and YouTube's. I'm trying to remember all the ones we have to talk about in this video because it is a lot. And the second video coming out very, very soon will focus on Funko because they have been releasing a whole bunch of stuff, two of which you can see right here. And also we got a whole bunch of leaks involving upcoming waves. But since we have so, so much to talk about in this video alone, let's not waste any more time. If you are excited for the new merchandise, hit the like button, subscribe, because basically all of this stuff I have already ordered and they are on the way. And once all the products get here, I will be doing review videos on all of them. So hit the like button, subscribe so you don't miss out on any future review videos let's just hop into it we got a whole bunch to talk about so to kick it off let's celebrate the launch of the fnaf and hex collaboration plushies they made a post back in february finally declaring that the plushies would launch on the 25th of february and thankfully on the 25th the plushies finally launched and in fact even though that was a couple months ago they're still up on the store so you can go snag them if you want i'll leave a link to them in the description below they're about 50 a pop which i know is very expensive for quite a lot of fnaf Fans, but keep in mind these are very high quality plushies and they're more of collector plushies than just you know whatever the heck Funko's pumping out these days. If you can't afford them, don't worry, I know a lot of people can't. I personally ordered them and they are on their way right now. And I may be doing a bit of a giveaway when that review video gets pumped out, so shh, stay tuned. So there you go, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy are all out right now. And in fact, we already have the release date for the second wave of Hex plushies. The second wave, which includes the Fredbear and Spring Bonnie plushies, will be coming out on Friday the 13th in May. A very fitting, scary date the 13th of May, Fredbear and Spring Bonnie plushies will be out. And while we're here, we do have a little bit of info on the third wave of Hex plushies. So wave one, you got the FNAF 1 gang. Wave two, Fredbear and Spring Bonnie. Wave three, seems like it's going to be the toys. Because in one of Daco's videos, he teased this, which is the Toy Bonnie Hex plushie. He confirmed that Toy Bonnie will be in the wave three, and because of that, it seems like the toys will be the third wave. We also also know that Daco is trying to get a Mangle plushie made. Whether or not that's going to come in the third wave, since, you know, technically Mangle is a toy, I don't know. But there you go, that is all the Hex news. The first wave is out, the second wave is coming, and the third wave is in development. Moving on to some very quick Creator Inc. news, who, if you don't know, is the merchandise company who does a lot of collaborations, mainly with Game Theory. They're the ones that do all the merchandise for the show. And to celebrate the launch of Security Breach not too long ago, they actually released released a security breach wave. And I actually did do an entire video dedicated to reviewing most of the merchandise. It got a bit expensive, I'm not gonna lie. But that'll be linked somewhere, description, iCard. But the other day, Game Theory released a whole new wave of merchandise, and to celebrate, we got two new FNAF shirts. The first one is the upgraded Glam Rock Freddy Long Sleeve Tee. You can see Freddy is in the Phaser Blast, Phaser Blast Arena. He's all upgraded with the claws, the eyes. And the second Long Sleeve Tee we got is Music Man! Finally, we got some merchandise for DJ Music Man in the form of a long sleeve tee. So two brand new surprise t-shirts from Creator Inc. Let's move on. Next up, we got some weird merchandise. So Fat Mojo, who makes a whole bunch of wacky merchandise, I'm not gonna lie, they've released four potential right? Keep this in mind. These aren't confirmed to be happening. They actually haven't been approved by Scott yet, so these might not even come out, but they released four images of potential upcoming FNAF merchandise. So the first one is the grab and go bundle. You got some plush clips, you got some pop tube figures, and some stickers. The second one is the party bundle with a mystery bundle with random items, one of those notably being a FNAF plus bobblehead. The third one is the lunchbox bundle, which includes a notepad, a Poppet, which is surprising, a Freddy plushie, and a Freddy mask. Which is strange, because in the image, it looks a lot more like Fredbear than it does Freddy, so whether or not it's actually a Fredbear mask and not a Freddy one, I don't know. But it's certainly gonna be interesting if these get approved and then we have a official 
Fredbear Mask. And the final one is the Freddy Alive Bundle, which has a gigantic Freddy head that opens up and inside the head are the are the bundle items, which is crazy. So you got a black light plush, a gold microphone, a poster, stickers, and a whole bunch more stuff. It's certainly some interesting merchandise, and I personally would love to see these get approved. I think they make for some very comedic merchandise in my opinion, but we're just gonna have to wait and see again. These aren't confirmed. They are potentially potential merchandise that Scott could greenlight. And we've actually gone through most of these pretty fast, but now we get on to the big news for today, U2s. It's been a long time since we last talked about the FNAF U2s here on this channel, and a lot has been revealed. So if you don't know, U2s is a lot like Funko Pops, and they mostly make figures for content creators like streamers and YouTubers, memes, and more recently, they've been getting their toes into the video game scene. And FNAF is one of those video games that they've gotten their hands on. And so because of that, we have, get this, three waves of FNAF U2's figures coming out. The first one was the FNAF 1 wave, which included Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and you guessed it, Foxy. And they actually dropped a while ago on December the 28th. And currently it looks like they're all sold out. But luckily, like I said, we still have two waves to come, one of which is coming very, very soon. And that is the Security Breach Wave. On the 16th of April, only like two days ago, YouTube's tweeted out Pizza Plex is opening soon. And in the image, you can see figures of Glamrock Chica, Roxanne, Vanny, Freddy, and Monty. So five brand new figures on top of the four we already got. Now we have actually seen basically every single one of those figures, even though they haven't properly been revealed. For example, Freddy, we know exactly what his figure looks like. And this is what he looks like. As you can see, he's holding up his microphone, punching up his fist like he does in the intro cutscene of the game. So I think that's a pretty fantastic callback and a fantastic pose to have for him. And in another TikTok video from YouTube's, we got a look at the box. And then this is what the Vanny YouTube's will look like alongside her box. I think these look absolutely incredible. Personally, Personally, I think U2's does a fantastic job at their figures. They they look so good, especially these. So that's Vanny. As you can see, she's doing her skipping animation that she does in the game. I love the fact that they're calling back to the game with the poses. And while we don't have a proper look at the Monty figure just yet, in another TikTok by U2's, we can see his box, which gives us a pretty clear picture of what the figure itself will look like. And as you can see, he's just jamming out on that guitar. He's going to town on that base. And just like Monty, we don't have a accurate picture of what the figure for Roxanne will look like, but we did get a teaser of the figure not too, too long ago by Todd. And we don't actually have a proper look at Chica. Once again, we do see her on some of the box art for the boxes for the figures, but we don't have like a teaser or a video showcasing her. So she's actually the figure we know the least about right now. But that is a look at all of the Security Breach U2's figures coming out again very soon, which I am so hyped for. Once again, I think these look amazing. And as a matter of fact, we got a surprise Vanny plushie. Now I'm pretty sure they said that we would be getting some plushies of FNAF in like a, a Reddit Q&A, but this is the Vanny plushie and it's actually still in stock even though it dropped like a week ago at this point so if you want this vanny plushie once again i think it looks absolutely adorable i think it looks fantastic so if you want it head over to youtube's.com it'll be linked down below go cop yourself a vanny plushie and speaking about plushies from security breach by youtube's we're still not done because youtube's is actually making a daycare attendant plushie Yes, that is correct. Look at this thing. It's double-sided, so on one side you got the moon, on the other side you got the sun, and over on Twitter, Perfect FNAF Shots actually got the plushie early from winning, like, a, a giveaway or something, one of those get this many likes and we'll send you a Foxy figure. And YouTube's actually sent them the gosh dang daycare attendant plushie early. And thankfully, Perfect FNAF Shots supplied some pictures of the sun and the moon on both sides. And let me just say, they look fantastic. I'm a little iffy about the rays from the sun being on the moon side, but I get it. There's no real way to combat that, so I guess I can live with it. Personally, I think it would have been cooler if they made two separate plushies, but at the same time, the bells on the things actually ring, so... That's pretty awesome. So that is a look at all of the U2 Security Breach products. That is a... <laughs> That's a lot. And so finally, let's move on to the third and, so far, as of right now, final 
FNAF U2's wave, and that is the Fazbear Fanverse Initiative. Which, if you don't know, is basically taking some fan games from the FNAF community and making them official in some way, so they get official ports and official merchandise. And back in February, it was actually leaked which characters from the Fanverse would be getting U2's figures. We got Candy from Five Nights at Candy's, Flumpty from One Night at Flumpty's, Ignited Freddy from the Jorah of Creation Ignited Collection, and it wasn't shown here, but it was confirmed later on by Kane Carter, who is making the Pop Goes games, that Pop Goes is getting a U2's figure, so it seems like Pop Goes, for whatever reason, was just missing from this list, but don't worry, he's still getting a figure. And according to Kane, who spoke with U2's to verify, yep, Pop Goes the Weasel, he's still coming along, it was revealed that the Fanverse wave is planned to be released around October, November time, and silly me, I forgot to mention, but the Security Breach figures are estimated to release around April, May. So, uh, yeah, literally any time right now. And now you may be thinking, oh my gosh, three waves of U2's FNAF? This is so much, surely, surely they're done, right? Surely they're done. Oh no, <laughs> they're not freaking done. Because later on, it would be revealed that we're getting FNAF 1 plushies, Security Breach plushies. Apparently we're getting like Freddy slippers, like footsies I think they're called. I don't even know what that is. And once again, back in February, it was revealed via their Discord server that yeah, they still got more things planned. What is going on? It's a little crazy how much FNAF U2 stuff we're gonna be getting, but honestly, from what we've seen, they look like very high quality stuff, so even though they're gonna be a, a massive punch to my wallet, uh, if they keep looking as good as some of the figures and plushies are looking, I'm cool with that. And that is all the news I have for you today. Once again, I got a bunch of Funko stuff coming in the next couple of days, so subscribe so you don't miss out on that. But we already had a lot of stuff to talk about, so I apologize if this video seemed like it was going pretty fast. Again, we had a lot of stuff to talk about. Again, I have basically everything we talked about in this video pre-ordered, ordered, shipping, on the way right now, whatever. So subscribe so you don't miss out on those reviews. And again, the Funko stuff coming very, very soon. But that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.